What is going on boys and girls? Welcome to today's video. A little bit different today, probably a first for us I think so far on the channel, but today we're going to be filming a bit of an actual product review. So you've heard the terms, if you really want to make a lot of friends in a hurry, buy yourself a car trailer, you can also buy yourself a hoist, you can also buy yourself a dyno. You will have friends flooding. All of a sudden they'll come out of the woodwork. Everyone will want to be your best mate, use all your stuff. Now, if you can't really afford how much it is to buy a bloody hoist or a car trailer or maybe you don't have a tow car, here's the next best thing that you can buy, which is just going to get you a whole heap of friends right off the bat. And that's one of these things. So, it's a scan tool. This here is the Arti Diag 800BT from Top Don. It is a wireless Bluetooth scan tool and they sent this to us to have a bit of a play around with it. And I'll tell you what, for the price, um, I'm actually extremely surprised at just how much you can do with these things. So um, yeah, it's wild. You would be surprised how many of your friends want to be your best mate when you've got a scan tool, when you can start uh, diagnosing their vehicles for them because the dealerships charge hundreds of dollars just to even put one of these on the car. Very handy little tool, a lot of money to be made if you know how to use it right. Not only that, but also a lot of money to be saved. So I'm pretty sure at the moment this on the eBay listing that I will leave in the description is around 400 Australian dollars or thereabouts, which you know is probably almost one trip to your dealership to get the scan tool put on just to read the codes and diagnose your car. So by the time you've had it, do by the time you've had it get it done twice, you may as well have bought one. And not only that, then you can charge all your mates to diagnose their car. So at the moment, my daily, my statesman has a check engine light on. So let's get the scan tool and dive in, have a look at exactly what we can figure out and uh, all the handy little things that you can do with this tool. So right out of the box, it comes with this very handy little carry case. Keeps everything nice and tidy and together. It gives you all of your information that you need to register yourself with the tool. It is uh, does have Wi-Fi, it connects to the internet, does automatically update, and there are a few other really interesting, cool things that it does with Wi-Fi as well, which I will show you. So this is your tool in its entirety. Comes in the little box. Uh, also comes with a charger cable, which I already have out because I've just been charging it recently. But uh, let's go have a look at this car. So on the bottom, you will see this here is your actual Bluetooth dongle. And that's what is what you plug into your OBD2 uh, port. There's a little power button on the top, turn him on. So you see here, we'll go through a systems check on the cluster. We'll start it up. And pretty soon it will come up with a check engine light. Well, that's a problem, isn't it? So rather than just be totally blind as to what that problem may be, get a little OBD2, plug it in the port, and get this tool scanning. So we've got our dongle, dongle plugged in. We've got our tool turned on. Turn the key on on the car. Let's have a scan, eh? So one very cool thing that you can do with this tool, which doesn't actually work on this car, which I'll explain in a minute, is you can auto scan. So if you hit scan, you go auto search, it'll automatically detect the VIN number and it'll automatically scan all of the compatible. So there you go, auto scan, it's brought up exactly what this car is. We tell it it's a Holden. At the moment, it's gonna say vehicle not supported. And the reason for that is because the ABS module in this car is not coded to the car. So it won't actually automatically scan through all the modules because it'll hit a wall at the ABS module, uh, which we already knew about this car. It's because we've had to replace it before and not recoded it. But on most cars, you would be able to auto scan. It'll get the VIN. It'll actually automatically ID the car and start to auto scan through all of the modules that it is compatible with. So if we exit VIN scan there, So there you go guys, there is a full scam system report of the car. Uh, as you can see, we have some codes on the instrument panel cluster, as well as the BCM. So we've got door lock circuit overload, quite a few uh, codes here. Engine start without slip ring communication, so it seems like perhaps my key and the slip ring has a bit of an issue. Uh, rear lamp bulb fail, that's a new one, I didn't know about that and no serial data from the ABS, which you already know about. That's what I was talking about. That is because of uh, the ABS <coughs> um, module being changed out in this car. So another cool thing that you can do with this, uh, this tool is you've got a code there, you don't know what it is, you hit it. It'll take you straight to Google and it'll bring up exactly all of the codes or, or the code that you're trying to search for. 
trying to figure out what's going wrong rear lamp bulb fail it'll bring up that code straight up in google and give you all of the google results for searching for that code or for what that code is and you'll be able to actually just have a look through the tool straight directly to google on how to fix that code or what the code means if you're unsure exactly what it actually means so that's a very cool very cool little feature from there as well you can also hit report and what the tool will actually do is generate a report so it will generate a report of the dtc's which is the full diagnostics report uh, which you can then give to your customer your client your mate and it'll tell you everything that's wrong with it it has all the codes on there uh, it gives you a qr code there to scan uh, but that is very cool and if you are registered and it has your uh, business and everything else that all goes onto it as well in your abn and everything else so um, very very cool cool little thing so you can send that to your email and then email it to your customer or you can print to a pdf or whatever you have uh, depending on what you're doing on your network um, so that's pretty cool so at this stage we're just going to clear all these dtcs clear them all out so there you go so that's cleared all of our instrument panel one that bcm one is going to stay because of the abs module we already knew that um, so with that done let's uh, cycle the ignition again we'll start the car back up and see if that's got rid of our check engine light Oh, and it's back. So, it appears that the check engine light's only happening while the car's running. It obviously wasn't happening with just the ignition on. So, we're going to do another health report. We're going to do another scan through with the vehicle running and uh, see what it actually brings up with the vehicle running uh, if we have a DTC there to do with the engine that is obviously not being cycled once the ignition's turned on and off. So, let's have a look. All right, so what do we got here? ABS data loss, that's also an ABS code. And that appears to be all the codes. So that's a bit of an interesting one. Now it's pretty, pretty common with these things for the oil pressure sensor to go. Obviously we tune these quite a bit. So I'm gonna actually go through and choose a few things that I want to see live data from. Coolant temperature, engine oil pressure um, let's just start with those and it's going to generate some live data that we can actually see and see what it's doing so see that oil pressure is stuck or maxed just sitting at 903.5 kPa not uh not changing oh there we go uh, and it shorted straight back to zero so it appears that there's definitely an issue with the oil pressure sensor which would be what the dtc is so we're stuck on 4.6 volts even the raw voltage is not changing so we've got no changes in the raw voltage for the oil pressure sensor so i'd say that that's going to be what the issue is coolant temp at 60 degrees that's all good and what you can actually do in this view as well is combine these to actually give you a trace of all three on a graph and i have actually used this a little bit on the dyno when tuning a few things to actually have a, uh, a histogram or a graph um, uh, of live live data for uh, quite a few things that the engine's giving you so um, obviously it's bringing up an engine light on the dash but it's not throwing a dtc that the tool is recognizing but looking at the live live data you can see that this definitely appears to be an issue with the oil pressure sensor but again you can uh, select a lot of this stuff to put onto your live data which is really really handy so there you go you got battery voltage air fuel ratio all in live live data from that so very very handy stuff you can also, um, when you do have this live data up, you can actually record it. You can record the live data and then play it back later on. Um, so, you know, if you're doing a dyno pull or a street pull, uh, you can actually record the data, replay it back and actually look at exactly what's going on while you're doing a pull in the car, which again can be very handy for a few people doing a lot of stuff on the street, um, where obviously you can't be driving and looking at something at the same time because it's very unsafe. So. Obviously for us, we've got the dyno, which is very, very handy for that sort of thing. But uh, for a lot of people that do want to be doing this sort of stuff on the street, um, you know, that's 
obviously much better. So you can even bring up your knock present and your knock retard for this car. Obviously with each car that you scan, it's gonna have different values, different things that you can see on the live data. Uh, for this car, obviously there's quite a lot that we can see. We've got our IATs there now. Knock, um, knock retard, whether there's uh, any knock retard, so. You know, if you're dubious on a batch of fuel and you're worrying if it's getting knock retard, well then this is going to tell you so. A lot of cool things that you can do with this little tool. So, as you can see, it's quite extensive what you can actually do with it for the money. Not to mention the fact that it is Bluetooth wireless, which is, uh, you know, also very handy. So you hit end, it tells, it reminds you to get your dongle. You get your dongle back out. We'll turn the car off because we don't need that anymore. And we'll chuck it back in. So unfortunately, um, things like... The Australian Commodore and the Australian Fords, the Falcons, I have found that they do have some funny things uh, like what we saw before where it won't read all the DTCs and there are just a few little bits and bobs that it won't do. Things like the automatic scan, some of them, um, with this one I'm assuming it's the ABS module. I've done other Commodores where it did automatically scan and was happy to scan all the way through. So there's a few things like that, uh, which obviously I'm still quite new to the tool. We're still using it quite a bit. Obviously our main... Uh, cars that we work on, a lot of them are Commodores and Falcons, uh, mostly Commodores, but what I have found um, on European cars, particularly on diesels, all of your new turbo diesel utes, uh, a lot of your Japanese cars, all of your Toyotas, um, new Toyotas, Land Cruisers, Hiluxes, that sort of thing, um, I've used it quite a bit on those cars, and on those cars this thing seems to work flawlessly and appears to basically give you access to everything that we so far have needed to do everything we regularly do to those cars. So I was hoping to get one through to make uh, this video basically on a car that would do this tool justice on just how much you can actually do with, with those platforms. Um, but unfortunately at the moment, it's not looking like we're gonna get one of those cars through for a little bit because we're doing our July shutdown. So uh, that engine light came up this morning and I thought perfect time to show you a bit about the tool. Uh, and overall, uh, I've got to say that for the price of these things, I think you'd be insane not to buy one if you do something like what we do. If you do often work on cars, if you're the type of guy that, you know, tinkers with cars, and if you've got a lot of mates that uh, you're the tinkerer of the group, this thing is going to pay for itself very quickly and uh, just ridiculously handy but even then even for as long as we've been using the tool which is just over a month now and even on all the cars that we've been using the tool on we are still only just scratching the surface of what we can actually do with it what it's capable of doing so it is for the price incredibly incredibly extensive uh, of what you can actually do the codes you can actually clear and delete what you can actually code uh, for the price of such a tool it's it's pretty wild generally you'd think thousands and thousands of dollars worth of scan tool to be doing a lot of these things that this this tool will do so anyway guys that's my my two cents on the rd diag 800 bt from top Don. uh i do think it's a really good tool for the money honestly and we've actually been using it quite a bit uh when we're dyno tuning a lot of uh you know newer common rail diesel stuff we do use this quite a bit for that application and it has been really really handy so thanks for watching as always guys we'll see you on the next one head to the link and have a look at the tool if you'd like um can't go wrong. So cheers guys. Peace out. See you on the next one. Catch you. Bye.